Today on StyleWise, we are here with Lauren and Michael. And Lauren's going to do a home haircut on Michael. Michael is a pretty good looking young man there, but he needs a little, uh, a little trim, right, Lauren? Yeah. But, but we're not gonna go for like the, the buzz cuts that we see everybody else doing um, on social media. Uh, this is not, this is just, he's got a beautiful head of hair. So you just want it to look a little bit more refined, correct? Yeah, just shape it up a little bit, kind of get a um, stylist haircut at home the best that we can. Yeah, yeah. okay. Well, so um, you and I have discussed the advantage of thinning shears because the, the, yeah, hold those up to the camera there. Um, one side is like a standard scissor and then the other side has these teeth in it. And the point is that when you cut with a pair of shears like this, you don't get a blunt line, you get a um, feathered line. And so um, what you're going to do to, well, how do you, how do you, prep, I think you got to prep Michael a little you bit. You got to get him a little bit ready, right? So we've got okay. the, What's yeah, involved in that? Thinning shears, and we have a cape that I, I mean, and if you don't have a cape, someone suggested actually taking a garbage bag, poking a hole on the top of it, and yeah. putting it across that way. So that's a good kind of trick. Well, and it's a lot better than a towel, too. Yes, yes. And so, John, let me show you a little bit what we're working with here. Okay. So we've got, you know, kind of really long on top. I'm going to put that back on you in a second. And you know, it's literally shaggy at, on the bottom. And he's yeah. going, of course, to grab more candy from Easter, and then he's gonna hop right back up on. Well, you have you have to be fueled up for something like that. Okay, okay, now we're back. All right. Okay. So, so tell me what to do, John. What we're going to do with, with it, and we're gonna do all of this with the thinning shears. So we're just going to sort of define what that bottom edge looks like and by that i mean you know the the neckline and around the ears and you you'll be able to tell lauren just by sort of cutting with those thinning shears that you're not going to get a you're not going to get a severe line so you may have to go over it a few times but that's the beauty of it so okay. um so should i get yeah. started on the back first should i start at the bottom yeah you can start at the bottom and um maybe you can turn uh, Michael around so that we can see yeah because this is you know this is a big this is a big time Hollywood production so we just want to make sure that right. we can see yeah. what, what yeah. you're doing yeah. oh there you go that's much better okay so are you getting a feel for what that um what the shear is doing yeah okay and and you know make sure that you sort of comb it down just so that you can see where that length is um, you know, landing. Okay. Yep. I think you're doing really well. We'll Ow. see. Oh, it shouldn't hurt, Michael. How about some YouTube? You want to listen to some YouTube? Yeah. All right. Yeah, day for YouTube, right? Here, hold on. But we're going to want to put the headphones in. We've got some distraction with YouTube for the four-year-old. Uh -huh. Hey, do you know how yeah. to can you you can definitely up? see how that line is um, starting to get established, but uh, but the, but it's not you know blunt and uh, severe. Right. Okay. So a couple of weeks ago, I tried just doing this with clippers, and you can tell that I missed parts. Yeah, and if you if it's easier to you know like wet that down i suppose you could do that too but <laughs> that <laughs> will surprise that'll you right up <laughs> and you know the other the other really important thing too i think is um no matter what people are doing whether it's um a home haircut or whether they're tweezing their eyebrows or you know, doing any kind of like personal maintenance, uh, people kind of like forget about the fact that there's perspective involved. 
And by that, I mean, it's always good to sort of focus on what you're doing, <clears throat> but also to take a step back just to sort of gauge, uh, you know, what the actual result looks like. So make sure you're getting the line there that, you know, you want. You want to sort of imagine where you're going, Lauren, with, with that, and then you just want to execute it. Um, but but okay. sometimes, sometimes you just have to sort of like lean back a little bit and, um, uh, you know, just sort of check where you're going with everything. Right. So I'm uh, so, now getting right around ear uh -huh. and I'm finding that I just, every time I'm going, I just want to do like three or four just to get it. Otherwise it just like a lot of straggly hairs. Right. It, exactly. But you you understand the benefit of that, right? Yeah, it's because a, then I can I won't make mistakes that easily. Exactly. It's um it's a little bit more tedious, right. but that way the the you know the result is gradual and and more importantly, you know, blended and you know you don't end up with choppy lines or uh, obvious mistakes. Thinning shears are great to <clears throat> cut hair, but they're also great to fix mistakes. And I think, I think you're probably, it looks like you're developing a real um, uh, feel for, for it. Yeah, it's just, yeah, you're right. Like in the, it's good. It just, uh, I just want to cut, but when I do just cut with a pair of scissors, I'll get, you're almost done. Well, almost yep. not right. But, um, okay. So if I've got the line here, uh -huh. back here. Yep. And it's pretty good. I would say maybe a little bit with that rat tail. We want to get make sure that's gone. Well, that's just a, a lot of, you know, a lot of that just has to do with the way that a person's neckline is, but you can certainly, right. you know, compensate for that. And uh, another thing too, is that, you know, you can just, you can always sort of cut into um, the line that you're establishing, but, but that's something that I would do, um, you know, after the fact. Okay. I'd get the I'd get the you know the line established around the the ears and in the back of the neck. And then I'm gonna just show you how to quickly sort of like cut into some of those lower layers because I really think that um you probably could just uh leave uh the, the layers on top at a longer length. I mean he's right. got great hair, so yeah. I, you know, why not um you know, exploit that fact. Right. Oh, my hand, sorry. But yeah, so I've got, I got grabbed a comb just to kind of. Yeah. yeah. All right. So, so yeah, I think that, um, so do you have the, do you have the line established? Yeah, I think it's good. I think we're good okay. back here. So why don't I turn them around a little bit? Should I turn them to the side or should I turn them all the way around? Well, I think that I think that if you're happy with the line, then the only thing that I would really suggest that you do so that you don't have too much bulk at the yeah. bottom of that line okay. is yeah. to just take the scissors and you can probably see how I'm holding my fingers. Yeah. Take the scissors and into the bottom of that uh, line that you've established, if you just cut into the hair um, and just kind of like, you got to think of it as like sort of a perforated edge around the bottom. Yeah, but you could actually even, you can do it that way or you can actually, um, you can uh, just sort of um, take the, uh, the shears and you can cut in either with the shears parallel to the section that you're cutting, that you're pulling out and cutting, or you can actually do it vertically. So, like that? Well, so, or parallel, yeah, like that, or you can, take like the the actual blade Lauren and you can mm -hmm. sort of lay it on the scalp now you're gonna you're going to make this the scissors perpendicular to no, no we're gonna um we're just gonna <laughs> we're, so look at I, I'm gonna show okay. you um I'm gonna show you like my fingers here okay. if you hold the the shears like this and okay. cut it in like that exactly that's okay. a really good way to sort of taper edges so that you don't have too much bulk and you you actually just kind of feel your way through this then okay 
So yeah, you can do it that way or you can, you know, tilt the blade so that um, it's, uh, you know, cutting in perpendicular. Ooh, okay. Now how, let's see what we want to do about this colic and we can wet it down and style it at the end so we can see because I know he's got a major head of hair. Well, and so, you know, the thing about a colic is that um, there's gravity involved. We're going to get real scientific now, Lauren. Okay. <laughs> uh, so when there are colics involved, the longer that the hair is, the less the, the cowlick will tend to stick okay. up, it makes sense. So if you're going to leave some of those layers longer on top, you might want to take that into consideration uh, because it's a, it's a great way to, to sort of remedy the, um, you know, the unruly uh, character of, of cowlicks and you just rely on gravity to do it. Job. But it's you know it looks like you're really getting um I a feel for so. this like don't you think it's a lot easier to use thinning shears though? Yeah, thinning shears are great. I feel like I can do no harm. Um, right. Hold well, on, I'll get you another piece of candy in a second. And oh, you know the other thing too that um, that I'd like to point out about this is that uh, you know you can always do a little bit. Uh, but you can all you could do it like you know once a week. You could just you know sort of like, like you know, quick you know, yeah. Your your maintenance is a lot less. Um, it's a lot less time and effort. You know you can just kind yeah. of like go through and sort of take a swipe with those thinning shears wherever it's needed. And if you know if you see on the sides there uh, that it's a little bit bulky, yeah you. I think, you know, you may have a future in cosmetology. No, I think I'm going to start researching cosmetology schools. I'm already looking at my... Okay. Well, I, I have a license, um, actually, that's still active, even though I, you know, I got the license, uh, like, sometime between, I can't remember, like, between World War I and World War II. But it's still, <laughs> it's still active, so um, perhaps, perhaps we'll uh, establish an apprenticeship for you, and you can... You know, you can just um, um, accrue hours, uh, uh, you know, in between like your your big important corporate job and raising a family and all of those other things that- I could uh, fit it in. I'm sure I could fit it in. Because <laughs> you're, you're really going to town there. And I think, I think you actually maybe even like it. I'm not sure that Michael does, but- I don't think he does. He's very itchy, but we, I've, um, I've bribed him with YouTube suckers and earbuds but he's already yeah and this is you know another thing too another great way to uh assess what you've done is you know you do an initial cut you do the best job that you can and yeah. then like the next day after hair has been washed there might be some areas of of bulk that you would want to like to sort of cut into but again that's you know that at, at, at that point it's only about two minutes. So yeah. rather than carving out big blocks of time in everybody's schedule, thinning shears can just be used to just sort of do a quick once over, like maybe once a week. Yeah, that's a great idea. Now it's starting to even look, even once I started doing the back, the front is starting to look like cooler and more textured. So I'm gonna flip them around and let me, and you can tell me what I, you think I should do with the front. Okay. Well, see, I like the front long like that. Me too. Uh, me too. Right? But I mean, like really what you're doing is, you know, because I think people overthink what a haircut means. And it doesn't have to be, uh, it doesn't have to be severe. And the way that you've actually, I do maybe a little bit more on the, do you feel like, just like right here on the sides, like maybe you want to, just with um, that vertical method where you lay the blade on the, like that, yeah. Just, yeah, and just see what you're doing is you're kind of blending it, there you go. <laughs> That's, see you're taking, you're taking length up, but you're also taking bulk out. And I think that he's, he's actually ending up with a very um, 
Hollywood worthy. Right, I mean, he's looking a little bit like John Jordan right now with that wave. He just needs a little silver streaks and he's like, <laughs> Yeah, are you right happy? There. We understand the premise here. It's like we're keeping yeah. it a little bit um, intentionally longer, and then you, that way you don't have uh, the cowlick issue. But you can also, with those thinning shears, it's like if you're going from a short length to a long length, it's a great way to not have a big line of demarcation. You end up with sort of that blended look. Can you show Johnny haircut? Hold on, you're almost done. Wow. Are we good? So, yeah, take a look at that, uh, Lauren. And, you know, I think I think that's a good-looking young man. I think so, too. But I think you did an awesome job. And the point is, you didn't go overboard. Um, you know, I appreciate the fact that, uh, you know, you took a deep breath and that you didn't overthink it because I think he looks great. Yeah, I think so, too. And I love the, like, the length on the top because no matter what I feel like if I were to take him to a stylist or something it always goes a little too sharp short you know well and, yeah and I, you know what else Lauren I think that um I think that as you uh have a, a a feel for this which you're quickly establishing that you know there's just a point at which like maybe you'll want to um you know go through those layers on top and take some of the length off of th those layers when they become too long, but I don't think they're too long right now. I think they look really cool. Yeah, I think so too. I think they look really cool too. Now let's get a little schmutz, as we call it over here. I think that, uh, you know, that um, Michael has uh, the potential to be on camera mm -hmm. and you have the potential to be a just a stage mom and you can just quit everything else. I, you get an A in my book. I should take these cute and look uh, what would you what would you grade yourself, Lauren? I you know, I would definitely say like a nine and a half. I think that if we were, you know, I think that I could maybe go in and do a few more things, but then I also don't want to be too scissor happy. But now that you have thinning shears and a Oh, uh, you know, wildly successful new skill set. Yeah, <laughs> I think you you could just sort of like go in there as needed and just uh, keep it. You yeah, one hundred percent. Like a Saturday morning before a birthday party, if he's looking a little shabby, I could just do a quick little cleanup in five minutes, just like I would styling his hair. Yeah, so I'm yeah. definitely all about those thinning shears. That was awesome. Well, for your first time out, I think you just nailed it. All right. So, Awesome. Thank, what do you you say, Mr. Thank you. Mr. Yeah, take a, take a bow, Michael. Can you take a bow? Stand up. No, I don't want to. All right, but that's okay. Why don't you just say hi? Say bye. Uh, bye. Bye. Thanks for being on Stylewise. And thank, thank you, you Lauren. This is a TV show. You're going to be on YouTube. All right. <laughs> yeah, just wait. We're going to get it up on the big screen in a little bit. You're going to be up on, big, on the big screen. All right. Lauren. Well, uh, 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 rumor has it that you have actually um, a waiting list. <laughs> like what you're seeing? Well, share it with your friends and please subscribe to our channel.